John, are vegetarians getting enough calcium? Definitely, Dan. Definitely they're getting enough calcium. And, you know, I know a lot of listeners out there are thinking, well, he's talking about vegetarians that consume lots of dairy products. No, I'm not. I'm talking about vegetarians that avoid dairy products completely and instead have a diet with lots of rice and potatoes and various kinds of vegetables. Now, I know this is shocking, but it's very important that you get this message. For one reason, consuming some of those high-source calcium products like dairy products could be dangerous. You've been told, for example, by the Heart Association that the fat in dairy products can lead to heart attacks, and the Cancer Society tells you the way to reduce your risk of breast, colon, and prostate cancers to cut down on dairy products. So you really need to know the honest facts about calcium in foods. Now the fact is this. Calcium is a mineral that's in the ground, just like other minerals, like iron, for example. And the way it gets into horses and hippopotamuses and, and people is it gets dissolved in the, in the ground into a uh, liquid, and it goes up into the roots of plants, and it becomes parts of the plants, like the leaves and the stalks and the fruits and so on. And then the elephant or the cow or the horse or the person comes along and eats the plant. And you see what huge skeletons some of these animals grow by just eating plants. Oh, wait a minute. You just, you just gave me a thought. Those elephants are getting that firsthand, and if we eat the dairy product, we're getting the calcium secondhand. That's, that's right, and we're getting also a lot of other things that we really don't want to have. Now, the way it works is this. We eat the calcium, okay, and it goes through our intestinal tract, and our intestinal tract has active cells that reach out and grab that calcium. Our intestinal tract is not a passive sieve. In other words, some people have the idea if you put more calcium in, then it's just going to go into the body. That's not the way it works. And fortunately, that's not the way it works. Not only does this active intestine guarantee that you'll always get enough calcium, and I know that, Dan, because there's never been a case of dietary calcium deficiency ever reported in people. I know you might be thinking about another disease, osteoporosis, but there never has been such a disease. If you take in too much calcium, that intestine also blocks out that excess calcium it took in. So the food is right, and our intestinal tract is right, and you can't lose, and that's what you need to know. The food is beautiful, John. The facts are interesting but challenging, and I just want to thank you for giving us this to think about.